Rally driving is a sport dominated by a desire for speed. We follow one teen driver and his family as he walks the line between being overcautious and going over the edge. I've known some people they can chuck 50, 60,000 pounds at a car. They put their business on the line, they remortgage the house. They pay 20,000 pounds for engines, 15,000 pounds for gearboxes, and they're in the same class. It's a bit unfair, really, but you know. At his first race in November last year, he took home a trophy and a taste for speed. It'll cost you uh, wives, houses, money, everything. And once you do get in your blood, um, it's there, like you just can't get rid of it. It's a strange sport, but once you've got it, you've got it. Deep in the heart of South Wales, an amateur rally team was being run from a family home. Their team driver is barely legal to drive, but he's already a fanatic. My name is Aaron Jones. I'm part of Aaron Jones Rally and a family run team uh, based in South Wales. Doing the 2014 Welsh Tarmac National Championship this year, so it should be good. Aaron and his dad, Peter, have transformed the Nissan Micra into a homegrown rally car. But they're up against 15,000 pound cars with over double the power. We formed the team three years ago. Something like that, yeah. About, about three years ago. He started autographing when he was 13. 13. When he was 13. Did two years, three years in autographs, in a mini, then a buggy. Uh, progression, and then he wanted to go to rally. And, so he had to pick the right car with the right spec on it. And of course, on the budget as well. We got to replace the seats. The fire extinguishers have had to be updated as well. There's a couple dotted around, so any sort of fire I can pull the cord inside and it sets the extinguisher off into the engine to kill the fire as much as possible and give me time to get out. Aaron came in and taped the floors and then I remounted the new seats. So it's all up to date now, it's up to date for the next um, five years. Hopefully by that long we'll have a better, bigger, better car. Yeah, I've sort of been brought up into it, it's, it's the adrenaline, the excitement of the cars. I've always, since the age of four or five, spectated on the rallies and uh, different bits, watched and in service and watched the cars. Uh, but then as I've become older and been able to drive, I thought it's something I wanted to do, so that's what I aim for. It's definitely the speed throwing the cars around, you know. I'd love for somebody like M Sport or somebody, you know, to pick him up and just sort of help us along the way. If Ford come along and I didn't want him as a production driver, it would be fantastic. Or anybody, you know, because he's good enough. It's just, you, you've got to start something. You know. He's definitely got the talent. Like. Aaron doesn't get time to practice outside of competition time and can only test the car on public roads. His main form of practice comes from playing video games and watching YouTube videos. I'm watching for any movement on the car, so if the car's sliding round or if the driver's struggling. Watch the videos, generally look up on the videos uh, and then just sort of follow. I can see where the bad bits are, see where perhaps someone has gone wrong. The team are coming into this weekend's race off the back of a crash in November last year and has set them back ever since. It was a bit of disappointment but it was more disappointment in myself rather than the actual what I've done but it, it was just annoyed. I, I knew I could, I could have avoided it but it was just something that happened and it's one of those mistakes you learn from. There was cars coming towards us literally 30 seconds apart, so we had cars rushing behind us. The back end of the car come round and spun in the middle of the road and we had no choice to try and turn it around and just come off the side. So, And then that was it, we were stuck in game over. I kind of think it spurred me on a little bit. Uh, I'm quite pleased it's given me that bit of fire to get me going again. But, Everybody's watching now, so can't do it again. Right, so I think the main thing you, you do love about driving is the actual just the control and the speed that you do. Um, the really fast stuff. You, you do get the, the adrenaline and the blood pumping. Uh, I think that's definitely the best feeling. But it's also with the car moving around as well. The sound it's probably second and then one of the best, the sound of a car. This is pretty loud as it goes. 
but there's some some cars that are so loud and they they really do they bring hairs on the back of your neck when you're driving or when you see them. It never gets easier, it always gets harder. For me driving is pure brilliance, pure gold. Unlike sponsored teams, they have to fund everything themselves. Looking at the conditions down there in the forecast, it's going to be wet tyres and the extra wet we're going to take the gravel tyres just to help us out. We want to set a brand new and we got all the rest apart from those because we just haven't got a budget. I think it's all a bit of a challenge. I can't wait. Even travel takes a blow to their budget. The race is tomorrow and they're having difficulty finding transport to get the car there. It's going to cost me probably 18, 90 pounds, you know, if I can't find a van, you know, but fingers crossed. I've got, I got quite a few friends, so I'm hoping somebody will find me one. He seems to know everyone. Uh, yeah, like pretty popular. He's the same, he's popular. Not as popular as father. Like. People who don't really know me, but they've seen me around are definitely the person with the cars or the person with the rally car. That's what I'm known as. Uh, it's a bit strange having sort of your own team in your own house, sort of next door in the garage, but it's nice to come home and if, if you did, you, you could go out and see the car. You, it's easy to work on, it's very helpful. But it's nice to, to come home and have the car there. It's, it's a bit different, mixing the work and the play sort of thing. But uh, as a family, we've come together and we've got used to it. Uh, it's definitely something that I enjoy. It is probably one of the best feelings in the world. I don't think it'll ever become routine, it's, you always hear the, the butterflies. I enjoy that feeling in the morning where it's like no other really. You know you're gonna, you're excited but you're also, you've got to be serious and confident. In the morning, well, it's always cold and it's always wet normally in the mornings and after Normally a two hour journey down is, you get yourself ready, you just, you put your suit on and you sort of change your mindset then you change into a different person. You sort of focus just on the driving, you don't really think about anything else. Um, I don't think about friends or making people happy, it's, it's about making myself happy and doing the correct thing. Is that worried about it? No, he don't, he don't, he don't worry about it. He just focus on his driving, he don't worry about nobody else. Can't wait for it really. Enjoy it now. Good run, yeah, got the adrenaline pumping already then. I'm sure he'll start up. I think we've got about an hour to the, to we off. He don't talk to me a lot when he's done. When he got his rally head on, he don't tend to talk to his father. We just run around and do everything for him. I like to sort of, as just before we go out, to sort of blank everything for the last sort of five minutes. Uh, I just concentrate on looking forward, I don't really look around, just keep my head focused and see what I've got ahead. With the first stage about to start in a few minutes, all drivers make a move, but Aaron's gone missing. Ryan, Aaron's co-driver, sets off in pursuit. back together, they taxi to the back of the queue just in time. There was a delay at the start line so we was about 13 minutes late to go into the control. Heat is on and just relaxing really watching other people go by. All the spectators normally complain there is delay when I stood out in the cold and the wind. Get a car that's not yeah, going to yeah. go and break down and I can spend all my time back. It's cold otherwise. We, I think we was catching up to the car in front of us, but we come down the street here, first corner, we turned left, and all the tools fell out of the tool in the boots, so all I could do was tools moving around in the back. So. I got 20 minutes in service now and then we'll be back out again. So I'll just check the oil water, tyres and everything. Feeling good though? Yeah, feeling good. Push, push on a bit more now. First stage over and the second soon start, it's time for refuelling. I 
I see Ryan once a week down Motor Club generally, down the pub we meet in in the Coopers and Astrid. I didn't really know him, he was just in school with me and we both phoned each other at the, the same rally and then it kicked off from there. We started talking and he was more into the co-driving, I was more into the driving and then it just fate clicked really and we've We've worked together ever since. You got five minutes and jumping ready. <laughs> yeah. You can jump in for one. Yeah. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Square right. Into Haven left. It's a rough and muddy stage. She's got to get a feel of the tyres. But at the same time, he wants to go fast, you know, because he's a competitive driver. So. He'll find his limit, and hopefully he won't go beyond it. Through the gate, an immediate square right. To the merge, look at the mud. Then they come in, go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Then they come in. 45 left, and square right on the tarmac. Watch it breaking again, yeah? Yeah. Square right on the tarmac. Always the red board. Tell them. Pleasure. For some of the classic cars, the course has taken its toll. Aaron got fourth in class for the day and is currently leading another championship. It's been a tough day of racing, but for this team, it's the start of Aaron's career. Yeah, we all have our individual sports and play rugby and motorsport is mine. It's all about Aaron enjoying himself and it, you know. It's, it just would, we would need a little bit of financial help. But if push comes to shove, I got a four grand bike, I'd sell the bike to fund the rallying for a year or whatever it would cost. You know, I, I was born to ride, I love my bikes, I've been riding bikes since I was, you know. But if I thought he was going to go on in rallying, I'd sell my bike to fund the rallying. I'd rather him have I've had my time on, on the bike, you know, I've been riding since I was 17, I'm 48 now. And it's his time now, isn't it? It's his time to enjoy yourself. I've never thought realistically I'd be able to uh, make motorsport or rallying out of a career. But I think if I try hard enough in the next sort of five years, I can make it a reality. And that would be a dream come true. You, you do a job, wake up every day knowing you're going to enjoy it. I think that's, that's really good.